So the Pixel Watch 3 has been announced and I think it's gonna be released relatively soon. And when that happens, a lot of the new features for the Pixel Watch will likely come back to the Pixel Watch 2, maybe some of them to the Pixel Watch 1, although that's a bit more doubtful. Watch faces and things like that should be among uh, those features to roll back. But fortunately, you don't actually have to wait to get those watch faces because someone has actually already grabbed the APK, which will install them, and you can download that. You can then sideload it onto your Pixel Watch 2. This may work on the Pixel Watch 1 as well. I've not tested that yet. I don't know if that's actually a thing. If you try it and it works, drop a comment down below. In this video, I'm going to show you the process. So the first thing, link in the description to this page where you can download Pixel Watch faces. If you scroll down, you should see this variant here. Go ahead and click on that and then download your APK. The next thing you need is ADB, Android a debugging bridge, if I'm remembering correctly. It's basically how you're going to interface with your Pixel Watch to send this file over. This is the second link in the description. You're going to scroll down and you're going to download the platform tools for your uh, device of choice. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to download the Windows version. At that point, we should have our APK file and our platform tools. Go ahead and right click and let's just extract that file will extract it here. It doesn't really matter all that much. Let's close that out. There is our new folder. And within that folder is a folder. My suggestion to you is to rename this ADB and then copy it and then go to the root of your main, your C drive, your main drive, and then paste it there. You can see that I already have mine. There's some files and some things in here that you don't actually need. They won't be in yours because I've done other things, but put that in the root of your C drive. It's going to make your life a lot easier going forward. Go back to your downloads folder, grab this APK, and we're going to name it to, let's just say faces.apk, and we're going to move it. You can either hit control C to copy it or control X to cut, and then go back to that ADB folder and control V to paste it into that folder. Again, just makes your life a little bit easier. At that point on our Pixel Watch, we're going to go into our settings, come all the way down here to system, and then scroll down to about, and we're looking for versions. Go into that and then tap your build number a whole bunch of times until it says you are now a developer. At that point, you can go back a couple of layers and you should now see under system, developer options. We're going to go into that. We're going to scroll down until you see ADB debugging. Let's turn that on. And then you should also see wireless debugging. Let's go into that and turn that on as well. Now, mine just said I'm not actually connected to Wi-Fi. So let's rectify that problem. I am connected to Wi-Fi. So let's try that again. I don't know why that gave me that error. We'll go back into developer options one more time and wireless debugging. There we go. We're going to do always allow for this network and allow. And this is actually a change from what I was used to. Before we would just get that. But I think now we have to hit pair device. And we're looking for that IP address and port down there. So either leave this screen up, take a picture of that, whatever it might be. You're going to need that full number, even with the colon and the port there at the end. So back over here, dealing with our files, we're going to hit our start key. We're going to type in CMD and open up command prompt. Let's drag it back over here. Then we're going to type in CD, which is change directory, C colon slash ADB. The reason we put that folder where we did and named what we did is to make this much, much easier. At this point, the process is slightly different than it used to be. What you're going to type in now is ADB pair, and then you're going to type in that IP address with the port which does change if you wait too long or it leaves that screen and hit enter. You're going to be asked for your pairing code, which is there on the same screen. Type that in and hit enter and you are now successfully paired. This next part was a little bit confusing for me, but I figured out what I needed to do. I'm just going to show you the solution. If we go back into developer options and we scroll down to wireless debugging, now you do need this IP address and this port. You're going to type in ADB connect and then that bit of information there, and that will actually connect you to the watch. All right, now that we're connected, ADB minus E install faces.apk. And if it's in the correct folder, this should work. Performing streamed install. And that took a very long time, but it did eventually say success. So let's jump back here to the watch and we will see 
if indeed we uh, have success. So let's long press on the watch face and let's do add new. And this one here, top right active, is definitely a new watch face. I may be wrong. Is, Vin is Adventure new as well? There should be at least a couple of new ones in there, but that is definitely a new one. And what's cool is you can jump into your watch application and customize these. So here we are in the Pixel Watch application. I can click on watch faces right there. If you don't see that new face there, simply click on add and you can add it in that way. But once it's there, you can click on edit and you will see lots of new colors to choose from to change. You can also change the complications. You can see that I swapped out the Fitbit icon for a battery icon that will show how much of a charge my watch has and all things are done for me and it is on my watch and working just fine. So guys, the process might be a little bit more complicated than it used to be, like a couple of extra steps, but still with these instructions, you should be able to get it done in just a couple of short minutes. Hopefully this is helpful and you can feel like you have a Pixel Watch 3 already, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friend.